On the popular video site YouTube, there exist countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Not gonna give me a bad cut. Yeah, told you. Okay, well, you remember what we told you, and this ought to go down quick and painless. You didn't let him change at least. You know, when he finds I out don't I'm know. With the police. By that time, that's, that's gross. That it's unsanitary. As as Other people cool sit down in that chair, you know. Us. Yeah. Ricardo, it's Wang. Hey, what's the matter, man? You sound funny. <laughs> Say the cops are still here. <laughs> uh, there we go. Cops had me worked up, but they're gone. The cops, they. Worked me over pretty hard. But you didn't say nothing. No, I held firm. They're gone now. Yeah! Woo! Oh, this awesome. Is, they find this anything? is tense a little bit. <laughs> be nervous. Uh, be just, casual. Yeah, just, just be casual. Not enough to arrest you. Enough to make them suspicious. But not enough to get you in trouble, I think. Cool. So what am I supposed to do, man? We got another fight coming Tuesday. You know I can't see another foreign dude. Edit. This time it's a Spanish grand, dude, man, and, and he's broke. the big head honcho. Right. Uh, suggest a new better location, one that the police are gonna have bugged and all that well, shit. Yeah. Hold the fight in a new location. Better not hold the fight at the shop. Too risky. You gotta find a new location. Where, man? I don't know nobody with that kind of space. Tell him you do. I do. My cousin Lou runs a body shop in Park Slope. Let me talk to him. See, you're a pal, man. That went well. All right. Thank God he really now, did know. Him later. Now I got a feeling that he, that he sent him code, uh, carefully Where? coded messages saying, the cops are here, they found me, go to this spot, which right. means go to this other spot. All right. Uh, push, push him to tell. Yeah. Uh, Meet me at the shop, so that way it doesn't sound weird. Mm -hmm. So let's go back at your shop. Come on back to the shop. I'm sure the cops won't be coming back. Sounds risky. Fuck. Somewhere by Pulaski Bridge, 6 p.m. Uh, that street corner, over by the bodega and the pharmacy. On 21st by Pulaski Bridge, around 6? See, sounds like that sounds too specific. The, you got the cards, you motherfucker! You've done good, Mr. Huang. We'll take it from here. Specific! Specific! As in, you need to say the specific consonants in that specific it's word. It's hard, okay? Specifically! Huang, over here. Sorry. Wang is indisposed at the moment. Regardless Sorry, we don't have enough graphics to do a chase scene. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Blah, 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 whatever, yada, yada, get the rest. Next time! Mr. Guzman doesn't dispute the cockfighting charges. Uh, we're prepared to plead guilty on that one. Está insultando la República Dominica. What? Let me. Uh, my client is not a murderer, Mr. McCoy. Mr. Jensen died as a result of an accident. An accident? He attempted to handle an armed bird, and he lost control of it. You expect really? me to believe that these birds have guns now? Was he shot? A man gets carved up like he said it was uh, attacked by an armed bird. To death, then dumps him on a doorstep and expects to walk away. No I way, the we're Dominican gonna consulate. break him in half. And? He's wanted there for drug running and armed robbery. Well, I want him here for murder. Is it possible it murder. really was an accident? Does no, it, it isn't. Jensen didn't you foolish woman, get he out of my office. I'm Jack McCoy. And he callously stood by. Murder too. Depraved indifference. There you go. Depraved indifference. Yeah, there we go. If it was really an accident. But hey, why don't we try and bump it up to murder? Murder. The defense must be desperate because they're fucked! They're putting Gooseman on the stay yan! Harlan Fitzpatrick is a good defense lawyer. He will try to make Gooseman appear sympathetic using a number of rhetorical tricks to your job is to object when he gets out of line. 
Leading is when the defense attorney puts words in the defendant's mouth to help make his case, or... Leading, it ends in, like, am I right, or don't you mean, uh, right, 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 all right, so... I'll look out for the am I right, because it's like Big Lebowski, and you go for the don't you mean. Cause, don't you cause mean? don't you mean to me! Don't you mean to me! <laughs> don't, me don't mean to me no more. Alright, ask and answer is when a lawyer gets his client to repeat an answer for a dramatic effect. <laughs> so, uh, this is the Nancy Grace oh, uh, argument, and that is inadmissible in court. <laughs> That's why she's on HLN. Mr. Guzman, when did you first meet Neil Jensen? Objection! Maybe uh, a year ago, I guess. Who initiated the relationship? You or him? He did. I didn't want to have no part of him, man. Mm -hmm. Not at first. What I do, I gotta be careful who I let in. Right. It can bring trouble, you know? Especially a white guy. Yeah, because the white Jackson guys are the to you with an picked on minority. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? He had a bird, and uh, he wanted me to help him raise it and fight it. And at first you said no? That's right. Said no. Asked and answered. Objection. Asked and answered. Sustained. Boom. Strike that. Yeah. What convinced you to take Neil Jensen under your wing, as it were, in spite of your suspicion? He knew cockfighting ain't how they make it out to be, you know? It's a more civilized practice than people realize, oh. you mean. What? That is leading. Objection. Leading. Sustained. Strike that. Boom. What sort Ten of points sentiments for Gryffindor. did Mr. Jensen express to you? Well, like, cocking's a real sport. It takes dedication and discipline. And you know, it can teach you a lot about life. How? You so you agreed to keep the, the bird and help him raise it. See, together we raised El Hefe. And together we conditioned him to halfway. fight. He was a good bird. Who knows? Here's another trick. Speculation is when a witness is allowed to theorize or imagine a scenario and present it as evidence. Uh, Why don't you tell us, in your own words, what happened on the night of Tuesday, May 5th? Well, Neil come in that night really keyed up, man, like super keyed up. He was jumping okay, all so around. He's jumping, that's what he's doing. Maybe he was so on maybe something. Maybe he was on something. Hold it, hold it, hold it! He was on something that's misleading! Objection, Your Honor. Misleading the jury. I don't see how that Shit. objection applies. I just told here. you Overruled. speculation. Go on. Right. Well, Fuck. Was excited, you know? I just lost all and those points. Was finally gonna fight. There were some other birds up first, but he couldn't sit and watch. Remember, you're not time. Around, pacing yeah. around till his turn finally came. Okay, I tell him. I'm the handler. I'm experienced at this stuff. Let me do it. Get the bird into the ring. The pit, yeah. It could be dangerous, you know, mm. especially with the long heel. A long blade attached to the rooster's spur. Right, but Neil wouldn't hear nothing I was saying, man. Being he was a writer, he had to do everything himself. Well, anyway, he's yelling about how he had to be the one to handle El Jefe. I told him don't. I ordered him even, but he really got in my face about it, man. So I had to back down. Then he went for the rooster, like he was going for a football or something. I grabbed it around the neck. You understand it. This is a bird was being conditioned to fight. The bird goes crazy. It, it it attacked Neil Jensen. I could totally see that though. Naturally, you were horrified. Uh, yeah. Naturally, you were horrified. That's leading, right? I don't know. Is it? Wait, it's misleading the jury, right? Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> misleading the jury. Damn it! No! They're on his side oh. now! Ah! Oh. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, no expert knowledge. I made a grab for the bird and got it. Putting yourself in considerable danger in the process, I imagine. Uh. Speculation. That's asked and answered. It's like, you're putting yourself in considerable danger, right? And he's gonna say yes, so asked and answered. Objection! Asked and answered. God like damn it, no! Fuck, no! Again. Damn it! Uh, Shit! Withdraw. So you're not gonna listen to me at all? Uh, uh, fuck! I see. Okay. So what then? What did you do for him? I wrap a blanket around him to try to stop the bleeding, you know? Did you think to take him to the hospital? Yeah, that, that's what I wanted to do, but he told me not to. 
Mr. Jensen asked you to take him home. Mm-hmm. His wounds, I mean, he was cut up pretty this bad. This is no expert knowledge. Come on. So all that. Let me come back. He should have pulled through. No problem. Objection. Thank you. No expert knowledge. Considering the outcome, I think we can conclude that Mr. Guzman's assessment of the situation is off. Sustained. Facts only, Mr. Guzman. You swore on the Bible you'd tell the truth, Mr. Guzman. Perjury! I'm telling the truth. I, I panicked, maybe. You would have done the same. But I did what Neil asked me to do. What I thought would save his life. Yo, f fuck. What the? Uh, do we press Way defense? to go. Oh, man. You can always replay the scene. No. The only way is forward. Mr. Guzman. Prosecution is ready to cross examine Guzman. Focus on the inconsistencies in the evidence and his callous disregard for Jensen. Stay away from tricky issues like his past life or the cultural bias against cockfighting. So, here we go. We're going to talk about the time of the incidents to open up with. The incident in question occurred on the night of May 5th. That's right. Maybe 145. 145. And you say you acted to save him? Of course I acted. I, I tried to help him right there, and when I when I couldn't help him, I took him home, like he asked me to. It is not, because he died at like close to four. Two it was like hour two gap. in the morning. Do 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 do. Yeah. Two hour gap. Because Let it was like two in the morning do, do, or whatever. Do, 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 do. Boop. Boom. Kaboom. Justice is on my side. Yeah. But there's a problem not yet, though. here. The 911 call is timestamped 403. Two hours after the mm. incident, Mr. Guzman. Under the circumstances, it's fair to ask. Couldn't your response have been a little more prompt? Hijos de puta mentirosos. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. None of your spook it's language. A mistake. Someone's not telling the truth. Are you suggesting 911 got the time wrong? Or somebody? Like you? All right, uh, let's talk about, hmm, let's see, not his past life, not the thing about, we're going to talk about immediate, about what's happening now, right. so let's talk about how he put him in danger. You knew it was dangerous for Neil Jensen to handle his own rooster. <laughs> to handle his own cock, right? When those birds are ready to fight, man, they're ready to fight. Then why didn't you stop him? I, I tried, man, but like I said, he wouldn't take no for an answer. His cock was too out of control. <laughs> I think it does. Fuck no! God! Oh. You threw You're not a... calming down and thinking about the. You threw me a curveball, goddammit. Mr. Guzman, you took Mr. Jensen into your confidence, initiated him into your illegal activities. Knowing your new disciple was a writer, didn't you worry that he'd give the game away, expose your ring, and force you to shut down operations? Mm -hmm. Well, sure, I was worried, but. He promised me he'd keep quiet, and he wouldn't write anything neither, unless I okayed it first. And you trusted him. Yeah, he respected me. Man. Bullshit. Whatever. Did Jensen disobey Guzman at any point? Of course he did. Naturally. Jensen tried to take control at the cockfight. Are you sure? Well, what do you think it is since you've been getting them all wrong? Well, let's see. Oh, got it. Thanks, babe. That's why I have you on board. <laughs> like shit. Well, it doesn't seem like he respected you very much on the night he died. I mean, he defied you. He disobeyed your orders to stay away from the rooster. Yeah, I, I guess that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's get back to those final moments, shall we? Maybe this time we can get the facts straight. You drove Neil Jensen home. Like he asked me to. And you dropped him off at the door. What time was that? Four o'clock? More like two. Did you stay with him till he was safely inside? Hmm. Hmm. No. no. You dumped him there and took off. Why, Mr. Guzman? I heard a baby crying as I was coming up the walk with Neil. I saw a light turn on, so I knew she was up. I was sure she was going to come down and get Neil. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I didn't want to have to be there and explain it all to her, you know? 
No, I expect you. Jeez. To... No further questions. Some gentleman. That's it. You fuck. Jury's on the f fuck. Should, way to go. Should have been more to that. The only way is forward, though. Now it's time to put Ellie on the stand and let her talk about her husband, Neil, and the horrible events of May 5th. Let's go! No reason to ask tough questions. Just have a recounter experience, generate some sympathy, but try to avoid any mention of Neil's shady nightlife or speculation about his death. Right. Very well. Want to take this one, Abby? The people call, the people call Ellie Jensen. I'm looking at a girl on girl, huh? <laughs> 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 Alright, so. Let's talk about Night of the Murder. Mrs. Jensen, tell us how you discovered your husband on the night in question. Well, I heard a sort of a thunk coming from outside the front door. Did it wake you up? No. No, it wasn't loud enough for that, but luckily I was awake. Noah, my baby, had just waked me for his usual Sympathy feeding. Sympathy points. She, she has an unborn, I mean, she has a, what a she has a young new child, a young new <laughs> newborn child. Good grief. <laughs> Horrible. He was covered in blood, and he had this look in his eyes like he knew he was yes, dying. Yes, yes. Bring your sadness who forward. Who did this to you? But all he could do was move his mouth. Shed a tear. I think he was saying, I'm sorry. Tell him about how the last thing he saw was him. your infant daughter's nobody. face. He was all alone. Now this is crucial. Shh. Mrs. Jensen, what time did you discover your husband? Just before 4 a.m. Oh, yeah! Sure. Yes, I glanced at the clock when Remember my baby cried at 5 3 minutes, 55. too. 3.55. He always wakes up at the same time. Thank you, Mrs. Jensen. Boo. Sympathy points. So you finally come around, eh, Harlan? If that's the way you want to look at it, Jack. Great. What are you looking for? <laughs> what is that? Mr. Guzman pays a fine and does 12 months probation. Come on, he mm. killed a man. Actually, a rooster killed a man. He sat idly by for two hours and let an innocent man bleed to death. That's killing him. Probation? No way. Make your counteroffer. The charge of murder applies if you feel there's an act in a premeditated and calculated fashion when you let Jensen bleed to death. Charge of manslaughter applies if you feel there's an act recklessly and thereby caused Jensen to die but didn't plant. That, that's what I think it is. It's like, death by, death by death by rooster? I don't think so. Right. It's manslaughter. But then again, weren't the wounds done by a, by a curved knife? Yeah, on the they put them on the backs of the roosters. He already explained that. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Manslaughter. Manslaughter is good enough for me. Man one, he served 7 to 15 years, plus a $2,500 fine for cockfighting. How about it, Mr. Guzman? Why would we agree to that? Damn it! Court, Fuck you! So the first time we had a slam dunk case, now it's not so easy. 